Welcome back to In Your Neighborhood. I'm your host, Charles LeBron, and if you are just tuning in, we've been talking with Twyla and Suzanne today all about the wonderful 55 Plus Centre here in the, in the community and all the great services uh, that they offer. And uh, I just wanted to ask about a few other things. So you have an amazing cafe uh, mm -hmm. that's uh, there. So is that mm -hmm. for everyone or your 55 Plus can only... Uh, attend that as well or how does that work? Um, it's 455 plus but if you have um, a spouse that's under the age or you have mm -hmm. you're taking care of the grandkids that day you know everybody's welcome to, to, to come on in and get a good wholesome meal. Nice and the other thing that I've checked out numerous times there uh, is the beautiful gift shop. Mm -hmm. So let's talk mm -hmm. a little bit about that and anybody can go there to shop. Yes yeah. yes mm -hmm. they have great things um, for everyone. Um, we have a lot of people that um, will um, make you do certain crafts and things and then they'll sell it on consignment there. Mm -hmm. uh, they have um, all sorts of little trinkets. There's and also new stuff all the time. Yeah. Because once they sell they bring in different things so you have a lot of different people making different things. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. And it's um, volunteer based in that as well. Volunteers yeah. go in and and they'll do a, a shift and and um, and help out that way to the center so yes mm -hmm. for sure and every year you have your annual um, craft show which is absolutely Coming amazing up. so um, let's talk about that that happens every year because we air this numerous times throughout yeah. the year so okay. just in case if it's around that time people can catch coming it. up this Sunday mm -hmm. October the 22nd mm -hmm. it will be at I think it opens at 10, I yeah, believe. 10 till 4. 10 till 4. So if there's a $2 cover, though, so you have to pay $2 to get in. But I think there was over around 45 vendors or something like at that. At least, yeah. 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 It's a there's a lot. Show. Yeah. Lots to see. Yeah, yeah, I love that show. I love going and every year. And it's the whole center, so. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And you have such a beautiful space there and lots mm. of spaces. Like, I'm blown away when I walk in there and there's so many areas and rooms and things going on everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do rentals? Can people rent mm -hmm. the center and... and What's kind of the principle behind that? Does, do, the, do the activities have to be 55 plus activities or? They should be, yes, yeah, okay. definitely. And yes, we can get rentals. One thing I'd like to mention is um, our capacity is actually at its highest now. We have over a thousand, I think it was a thousand and sixty one people in registered programs right oh now. Oh my goodness. So we see about 500 people a day go through the building. Right. which is probably unheard of anywhere else, right? Yeah. Um, so rentals, we do do rentals. I mean, they're limited um, because of the space that we have. We wish that we had more space mm -hmm. because we could do more programming, but um, people are more than welcome to call. We have staff that will actually um, look for space, the type of space that you want, because the rooms are all different sizes, yes. whether you want the auditorium, which will hold 90 people, or the meeting room, say 40. You know, so if you call, the staff will give you the information and then you go ahead from there. Wonderful. Yeah. And I'd love to talk a little bit about uh, each of you and kind of how you got involved with the uh, the 55 <laughs> Plus uh, Centre. So Suzanne, you've been there since it opened, since day one. Right, right, since um, September of 1991. <laughs> wow. Yes, yes, a long time. So what do you love most about what you do there and, and what you see and experience every day? Well, what I love is, is actually going there. You know, you can't help but be in a good mood because everybody is very is in a good mood when they're entering that building. They're going into their classes or volunteering in various things. So it's a really, it's a very vibrant place to be. So you mm -hmm. can't get a, be in a grumpy gust there, really, mm -hmm. you know. And it, it's fun. And it's the variety of programming that's really nice. And again, what's uh, closest to my heart is working with the mm -hmm. frail senior. And that's always been what I love to do. So mm -hmm. that's yeah, that's beautiful. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And Twyla, you haven't been there as long, so you've been there a couple of years now. Yeah. So kind of, you know, what got you involved with the 55 Plus Center, and what do you enjoy most about what you do? I think for me, well, and, and I'm a social worker by trade, and it was just the helping profession. And with the programming that we have, when I started, we had. The, the three programs so we had the friendly visiting the telephone assurance walk a bit and we've been able to I've been able to build on that so we started with the grief support group but then now we have the caregiver support group now we have the myeloma support group so what I'm finding is I'm able to build and to try to meet the needs of the community mm -hmm. and every event that we usually have I do evaluations so I will go and I just finished doing one actually today for the active living. So what I'll do is I'll look at what people want and one of the questions is what would you like to see? So for me, I really, it, it's satisfying to be, to be able to look at that 
this is what people want and to be able to coordinate it and put that forward for everybody Wonderful. you know so for me it's about meeting the needs of the community uh, and what they want and I've had a lot of feedback with people saying that thank you for putting this in we needed this mm -hmm. um, and even the caregiver support group it at first didn't come off very well it um, we're not quite sure but now it's actually taking off people are starting to come and I know from being in a long-term care environment where I worked before that there was a need in the community for it so mm -hmm. I brought things that I've learned from other positions to the 55 plus center right. you know to make to try to make this area there bigger and um, more accessible and that type of thing. Absolutely. Yeah, That's it's great. great. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And Suzanne, you've been there a long time, so I'm just wondering <laughs> if you maybe have a story or two and that's really kind of maybe touched your heart or things that you've seen or that you uh, could share with us. Well, yeah. geez, I, I haven't thought of that, but I'm, I'm sure there's many. <laughs> but um, it's just so nice, um, some of the stories. I've seen so many um, mm -hmm. older adults that come through when they're experiencing perhaps some grief or some loss in their life and they come and they they come in and they they just feel so much better there's a lady that um, recently lost her her son and mm -hmm. was really grieving and yeah. she says she comes in that this is home to her her second home mm -hmm. and so um, and there's many many stories like that where people are really struggling um, for just lots of different reasons but they feel very comfortable at the center it's very homey um, people um, the staff and the volunteers, we all try to provide support and mm -hmm. uh, be there for people. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, and that's nice. been going, I think that's why it's really a success story um, in mm -hmm. a lot of ways is, is yeah. um, the people that um, are there yeah. every day. Absolutely. Very volunteer driven too. Very much Without yeah. our volunteers, the center wouldn't be what it is. It really wouldn't. And we wouldn't be able to provide all the services. Mm -hmm. Even yeah. uh, most of our programs have what's called a convener. So our convener will oversee that program for us to help the staff because we wouldn't be able to be in every room at every, you know, at every program that's running. Mm -hmm. So our volunteers are very important there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we have a volunteer base of over 200. Over 300 wow. now. Is it Wait, over if 300? We, if we include, oh, if we include our support yeah. services, over 300. Over 300. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, incredible. and I wish I would have looked because the, the amount of volunteer hours that go in in one year is unbelievable. But i mm -hmm. sorry I didn't write it down yeah, so I could have it, told you. Yeah, but it's a testament to our city too that people it care is. about the people who live yeah. here and yeah. and uh, it's beautiful that people volunteer their time to make sure that everybody's yeah. taken care of and, and uh, yeah, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. So if people are looking for any information, more information about what we talked about today or mm -hmm. anything that's happening at the 55 Plus Center, what's the best way for them to do that? Well, you can call the center. So that's the 684-3066 number. Yeah. That's our main line at the office call Suzanne or I at the 684-3471 or you can go to our city website and it's uh, www.thunderbay.ca backslash 55 plus yeah. or um, Facebook. Facebook. Oh, We're on yeah. Facebook now Facebook too. Page as yeah. well. Or come down to the center which is on River Street. 700 River Street. Yes. Yeah. And so come on in for a tour. And you're open Five days, Monday to Friday? Or? Seven days oh, a seven week. Seven days a seven week. Seven days a week. And it's 8.30 to 9. But on the weekends, we do have shorter hours. Right. So, so people can just stop mm -hmm. in, get a tour, learn yes. what's going on, all that good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, I want to thank you, Twyla and Suzanne, for being on the show Aww. today, for sharing all this great information about the 55 Plus Center, all the great work that it does in the community, and for caring uh, for people mm -hmm. in our city. Thank it's you. the work that you do is, is phenomenal. And I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. Be sure to tune in next week with more on In Your Neighborhood. Oh.